Today, we're going to learn how to make a traditional origami boat. Now, we're going to learn how to fold probably the most famous and well-known origami boat. This traditional origami sailboat actually floats, so make, it makes a great origami model to teach your kids. You can make these origami boats out of newspaper or other rectangular sized paper. You will probably notice it looks like a hat near the end. This traditional origami boat is actually just a few steps more than the origami hat that I made in a previous video. You will need rectangular paper for this origami boat. Either A4 US letter paper or trim from a square piece. Or, just take some printer paper or lined paper, but preferably printer paper because it doesn't have holes in it. And we're not going to be using square sheets today. Or just take some construction paper or colored paper of any sort, newspaper, just something regular, rectangular shapes. So we're going to take one sheet. And here's the hat or that I made. In a previous step, a previous video. I actually just made the video earlier today, so it's going to be similar to this one, just a few steps different. So we're going to start off by folding it in half, long ways. Okay, we can fold the top down to the bottom, sorry guys, so we fold the top down to the bottom. And then we're going to take and bring the right corner over to the left and make a small crease. We just want a crease in the center, nothing, nowhere else. So right up here, so we got like a cross shape when we unfold it. We're just trying to mark the center of the page. We're going to unfold that last step. Now we're going to bring the top and right corners down using the crease as a starting point. So, you know what? We're going to crease that a little more. I don't like it. We're going to crease it all the way. I know we're probably not supposed to, but... Just don't make it a heavy crease, make it a light one. So we're going to bring these down and fold them. Both sides. Definitely didn't do something right here. I see what I did. This is my fault. Fold this properly. The more straight your folds are, the better your end product turns out. Right there. And now it's more even, more straight. Next. We're going to fold this flap upwards to that line. All the way across. Fold it over, or flip the page over, and you're going to fold it up even with the other one. Nice and even with the other one. Okay. Then you're going to take it, pick up the paper, it's the underneath part of the bottle, and open it. So it starts looking like a hat. Just like that. Bring the two ends together and flatten into a diamond shape. So we're going to take and flip that up, flap under there. 
do the same with the other side. Just flip the flap underneath. Yeah. And we're going to open it up into a diamond shape. We want to make it all nice and even. As evenly as possible, right? Okay. Now, fold the bottom flap up to the top point. So, flip that up to the top point. I'm going to flip it over and you're going to do the same on the other side. Again, pick up the model and open it up like a hat, just like that. Now we're going to flatten it out to an even smaller diamond shape. So now it's nice and flattened. Next, pull up, pull the two top left and right points outwards. This will result in a boat shape. Pull the two top flap Okay, so I'm going to take it and open this. We're going to flatten it though. We're going to open it and then flatten it. Right? Like that. And then we're going to open the bottom, open the top a bit. There's some loose flaps inside here that you can easily just fold around. And then take this flap, fold it around, and then ta-da! You have your boat. You have your boat all finished. Your origami boat is now complete. If you want your boat to float, try rounding out the hole that is on the underside of the boat just a little bit. So you gotta take the bottom here, you wanna round it out just so it can have an air pocket in there. There. Just like that kind of thing. Doesn't have to be perfect. And then it'll float. Your boat will float. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos like this.